Yo, it's from Marty VR. We're gonna talk about PSVR 2 on PC. It's been one year since the PSVR 2 has been usable on PC, and I gotta say, it's been a pretty decent year. Now, I think a lot of you guys saw my two month review and my six month review with the PSVR 2 on PC, and now we gotta talk about the one year review. So, I've been really excited this video, and I gotta say, over the past year, I've been using PSVR 2 off and on. And I think I got a lot of good tips, a lot of good pros and cons to getting the headset on PC. Before we get into that though, make sure you like and subscribe, man. Come back to the channel, follow the content, hit the notification bell, and make sure you go to vrrock.com and get some prescription lenses for your PSVR 2 or any other VR headset that you may have. I've been using VR Rock literally for years. They're my go-to when it comes to prescription lenses PSVR 2 because, I mean, they have the best prices, the best shipping, and they always give me my order right. Use code MARIDU for 10% off, man. Help me help you save some money. Now, this review is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do because we're going to go right, and I mean right, into the pros of the PSVR 2 on PC. The first pro is the price. The price for this headset is actually pretty good considering what you get. As of right now and without a sale, you can get the PSVR 2 for $400, which isn't terrible. Now, personally, I would recommend getting it on sale because usually during Black Friday, Christmas time, this says it goes down to $350, which is a steal for a 2K resolution headset. I mean, it's quite literally unbeatable in that price range by really most other headsets. There's only one real headset that contends in that price range, and that's the MetaQuest 3S. And if you want to, you can get it on eBay probably for cheaper than that. People are always selling PSVR 2s, man. So if you want like controllers, anything like that, just go hit up eBay. Another thing we got to talk about is FOV. Now, I have never measured the FOV of the PSVR 2. I, I know bad reviewer, bad VR dude, I know. I'm getting better. I've gotten way better since that six month review, reviewing headsets. But I must say, this headset has the most FOV of any VR headset that I've ever used. And you're like, whoa, what about the Valve Index, all that stuff? Bro, trust me. I measured it today in these clothes, like these clothes right here, and I got a 130 vertical FOV, which is up and down. And I got 112, 110, or a horizontal FOV. That is large. That's bigger than a lot of headsets on the market. So if you're a person who really wants to see what's going on in your game and you like having wide or you know vertical FOV or diagonal FOV, the PSVR 2 really is unbeatable by a lot of headsets. Because getting close to those lenses really changes things in terms of what you can view. And another thing FOV really helps with is immersion. I mean, obviously when you see more of the game, you feel like you're actually in the game. And especially with like the deep contrast and just the overall colors that appears very too, it really helps. Another thing is no latency. So when you are using a wired connection to a PC, there ain't no latency. It's not like when you're using the Quest and you're over Wi-Fi and there's latency. There's always going to be latency, maybe low. But there's always going to be some type of latency. So the PSVR 2 on PC has no latency whatsoever. And as a PC VR guy of like five years now, one on six, Wired is always going to be better than wireless when it comes to latency. Like I said, personally, I like a wired headset. Like if I can get a you know micro LED 8K headset that had wired FOV like the PSVR 2 and it was wired, I literally would be set. But for a lot of people, you're going to like that no latency. You don't have to worry about Wi-Fi 6 and all this other stuff. Just go with the wired. And we got to talk about the controllers, man. The controllers for the PSVR 2 are amazing. These are some of the best VR controllers. Now, people don't mention it all the time because you know, most people have really never tried a PSVR 2, but these controllers are fire. Personally, I would put them over the MetaQuest controllers. That's just my opinion. But I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like these because of the way they're shaped, but, and they, they can be a little fragile. I mean, look look here, I, I, I'm you know, breaking that part. But I, I love these controllers, man. They're really good. They track pretty eh, decent. On PC, it really depends on how you got your Bluetooth dongle set up. And uh, we're gonna talk about setup later, but if you got a good Bluetooth dongle set up and it's pointing towards your play space in a decent way, then these will track really good. They're great with rumble. Obviously it's dual sense, so the rumble is always great when it comes to PlayStation controllers. You will literally never have to worry about that. And now we gotta talk about the setup, which is probably a pro and a con, but pro here because on paper, and this is if everything goes right, the PSVR 2 is actually really easy to set up on PC. Now, this caveat, if everything goes right, so you have the right Bluetooth dongle, you have the right <laughs> configuration, and everything goes right the first time, then yeah, it's a really easy setup. All you need is the right Asus Bluetooth dongle, and I went over that in the initial setup video, 
and you just need that maybe a little extender to put it away from your playstation a little bit and you're literally good and we also have to talk about a display for the psvr2 now psvr2 does use frozen lenses i know people are like well pancake blah blah but i mean they're big lenses and i feel like it kind of balances out we're talking fresno lenses with a oled not micro oled an oled display which gives you beautiful colors and i mean some of probably the best i've seen in vr compared to micro oled headsets now is it one one no but it's still pretty good so it's a lot of great contrast and even like nighttime scenes in the psvr2 look amazing like really good also i'd say the headset does have some great binocular overlap like really like really good probably some of the best i've seen in a vr headset now there are some downsides to having that oled and the fresno lenses but we'll talk about that a little bit later all right before we get into the second half of our video make sure you check out the video i did going over the pros and cons of having a ps5 pro for the psvr2 i wanted to make sure i marketed that video because it's been a while since i did a psvr2 video so please go check that out now the first con for the psvr2 on pc has to be the comfort so comfort for the base psvr2 it's not good now i will say i will say it's very cheap to fix though you can get a globular cluster strap or you can go to studio form and get their comfort mod you literally can't go wrong with either one of those choices and i'll make sure i have a link down below so you can go look at those but most people will hate this headset because of the comfort so if you're going to order one i would say if you order the psvr2 order your comfort mod right with it so that way you don't hate the headset <laughs> when you get it because you didn't like the base comfort because the main thing about the base psvr2 the sweet spot for the psvr2 isn't the biggest i'll be honest with you now while the display looks great and all this other stuff not the biggest sweet spot so you don't want your headset moving around too much so when you get the comfort mods which i'll reach back here once you get the comfort mods you literally can kind of adjust to all of that so you get a bigger uh, pad in the back you get a top strap and a better um front pad so you can actually keep you know your head still i've had a lot of people return to psvr2 for that reason so you've been warned the second con is the pc requirement so you're gonna need a decently beefy pc definitely mid-range i couldn't see like any 20 series cards handling a lot of games with this headset just because of the amount of fov you're rendering a lot you gotta think the higher the fov kind of is in balance with the higher the resolution so what i've noticed over the past 12 vr headsets is that usually headsets with wider fov take a lot more rendering power now that can be offset with uh like the the mega next super light 8k which is a very small pc vr headset has very small lenses but it has higher resolution with a smaller fov so it's kind of the opposite of the psvr2 the psvr2 has lower resolution and higher fov so you still need that extra rendering power to get and will render the, all that fov so basically a long-winded way of saying yeah you're gonna need a decent pc i would say a 30 series and up now there are requirements on the sony psvr2 pc adapter website and you can look at that and make sure your pc kind of fits in that area and that leads us to no eye tracking so the psvr2 does have eye tracking and it does work on ps5 but it does not work on pc the eye tracking and the hdr are non-existent on the pc platform personally i think sony's a little lazy and not implementing that because i do know of some people who are working on a driver right now for the psvr2 to have eye tracking and enable hdr on pc now i can't give you guys a date because i don't have a date and even if i did have a date i wouldn't put that out until they put it out because you know you don't want them getting rushed and people being people are annoying <laughs> i'll be honest with you so stay tuned probably within the next few months we'll definitely have that but if you're expecting eye tracking to work on vr chat or hdr to work on you know flights or anything like that not with this headset at least out of the box and now we gotta circle back to the display so i talked about the display a little bit earlier and pretty much the positives of it but we gotta talk about the negatives of it and one of the biggest thing is mirror so mirror it's like having like a stain kind of on a display some people notice it some people don't personally on my psvr2 i notice it now it's not as bad on pc for some reason but you do still notice it in certain scenes especially when looking up at the sky so if you're like a flight simmer 
you will probably notice it more than somebody who's doing like fast paced, you know, contractors showdown or uh, maybe some racing, which also leads to persistence. So persistence basically is the dragging of the image when you turn. Now, it's really bad on PS5, like really bad on PS5. And I was kind of shocked when I went back to PS5 with the PSVR 2, because I was like, dang, I didn't realize what, <laughs> you know, how blessed I was on PC. But it can be a deal breaker. It can make some people sick. Some people can get sick. Now, I would say probably the stronger your PC is, I don't know if it's relative, but the stronger your PC is, I feel like once you run the headset at higher refresh rates, it kind of beats out a lot of that persistence. Because I'll be honest, I know there's way more persistence on 90 hertz mode for the PSVR 2 versus 120 hertz mode. Yeah, persistence is never good, but uh, what also isn't good is lower resolution. So the PSVR 2 does have really low resolution, extremely low compared to the competition. So we're talking 2000 by 2040 resolution. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Now, I will say that the pros of the PSVR 2 kind of outweigh that, but that lower resolution makes it really, really hard to read text. So if you want a headset that's kind of like a, you know, headset for productivity, PSVR 2 definitely not it because it's gonna be very hard to read text. Yeah, some menus I can't even read on the PSVR 2 because of the low resolution and the displays. Now, personally, to me, it's not a deal breaker because like I said, the low resolution is offset for more FOV. Now, the PSVR 2 could have been a higher resolution headset, maybe in a 25 range or kind of in that Quest, that Quest 3 range would have been better, but it's like, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully with Sony's next headset, if there is another headset for PSVR, then hopefully we can get that, you know, higher resolution, maybe in that 4K range or even the combined 8K range would be crazy. I don't know. And what's also hard to read is the instructions on how to fix the setup problems. Now, this made me drop the PSVR 2 for a while because I had so many issues with setting this thing up and it makes you not want to use the headset sometime. I can definitely say that even with the Mega Next Super like 8K. Same issue setup can be a pain. So obviously it's not exclusive to the PSVR 2, but I've seen some of the most random fixes for getting the PSVR 2 working on PC with that adapter. And be warned, there's a lot of videos out there though. And there, there's a whole subreddit PSVR 2 on PC that goes over how to fix this headset on PC. And they literally helped me solve a problem I had with this direct display mode not being you know, enabled on my PSVR 2. So yeah, they're very helpful over there. Personally, I wish that Sony would just update the PSVR 2 more because the last update was in March and it is August. So that's not good. So hopefully Sony, you know, gets their heads out their asses and give us more updates to add more features to the PSVR 2 or just fix bugs. Because I genuinely felt like when this came out, they gave us a beta version or even early access version of some software that works with PC for the PSVR 2. And I was not impressed with the quality of the software at first, especially two months in and even less when I was six months in. But I will say that now a lot of those bugs have gotten fixed. I see a lot less, you know, help me, you know, post on Reddit about the PSVR 2 setup. And the last thing we gotta talk about, and honestly, I was, I'm reaching for this one, but this is something that has to be noted because people do complain about it. And it is switching the PSVR 2 controllers from PC to PS5. So sometimes it can be a little annoying switching them back and forth. You gotta reset them and reconnect them. And it's not a lot of fun. Now, I personally, it makes sense to me to two whole different systems. Eh. So personally, I'm not tripping, but if you're a person who wants to use your PSVR 2 and your PS5, and you don't wanna buy extra controllers, you're gonna have a little bit of back and forth going between the PSVR 2 and the PS5. Now, I think I covered everything, so now it's time to talk about whether this headset is worth it. It was worth it for the money. So for that 400 price, I would say, yeah. I would say the PSVR 2 definitely has a crowd in the ecosystem, people who want cheaper wired PC VR, but a lot of FOV. I would say this headset would be great for really anything you throw at it, flight sim, race sim, uh, shooters, adventure games, anything you throw the PSVR 2 can be ran well. And if you got a very strong PC, you can run it even better. Now, obviously there are Quest 3 comparisons and Quest 3S comparisons that I could do. And I have done that in the past. And you can go to those videos, see my answers. But for that sale price for the PSVR 2, that 350, oh, it's a no brainer. I would definitely recommend the PSVR 2 to anybody who wants a wired 
and I mean a great wired PC VR headset. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I do think the PSVR 2 is really good on PC, especially now with updates and a lot of TLC. So I think a lot of you guys are really gonna enjoy it. It's forums online to help you with fixes if you need it. So I would say go ahead. But I would definitely say wait for that 350 price or get one on eBay so you can get a cheaper price. And once the eye tracking, HDR, all that stuff gets enabled using that driver that the person is building for PSVR 2 on PC, I think this is going to be a no-brainer for VR chatters and there's a lot of different people who want like foveated rendering or just eye tracking in games. With that being said, this is Mardu VR. Thank you guys for the 10k again because we just hit it. We almost getting to 11k and I do appreciate all the support. Make sure you come back, man. I cover PSVR 2 every once in a while. Not as often as I used to because I've been reviewing other VR headsets, but if you want other competitive VR headsets, whether it be in higher price ranges, check out my other videos. I did review the Pi Mattress Delight, so I think it's very PSVR 2 adjacent in terms of how they kind of interact with the ecosystem. I've done Quest 3 versus PSVR 2. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of content, man. So make sure you check that out. Stream our VR. And remember, I'm just a dude with a VR headset. Peace.